going on gamer Suro here welcome back to the channel now today I wanted to go over a tier list for all of the different kinds of fish or uh, sea creatures in the game now I have just maxed out all of my fishing completely I have it all my skills maxed out it's gold and I was going to make a video on how to max that out quickly and also why you should but before I do that I kind of wanted to go over what is the best fish in the game that way while you are leveling up your fishing you could be getting all of the best fish that are going to help you throughout your entire playthrough and uh so yeah let's go ahead and get into it now if you find this video helpful or you really enjoy these kind of videos make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and I will promise you I will keep you up to date with everything core keeper now the first ones we're gonna do we're gonna get started on at the dirt biome this of course is the first biome that you're gonna come across it's surrounded by the core and you have these four fish here we got the orange cave guppy the blue cave guppy the rock jaw and the gem crab now my rankings here is the Suro certified. This is the best tier you could possibly get. This is something I absolutely love to find these fish and uh, I use them all the time. Outstanding, second best. I also carry these. Decent, these, I mean, it's just decent. You know, they're not bad. It's nice to have them. If you don't, it's whatever. Uh, the med category is something I'm probably not ever gonna use and I don't recommend. And then the mediocre is just absolute garbage. Why is it even in the game? We need a buff for these. So starting off with the orange cave guppy, you have a 52.88% chance of catching this. And that just means whenever you do catch a fish, it's going to be a 52% chance it's going to be an orange cave guppy. And then 24% for the blue cave guppy. And then 15.38 for the rock jaw. And 7.69 for the gem crab. Now, just because the gem crab is only 7.69% doesn't mean it's actually the best, and actually, it's it's really not. So, starting off with the orange cave guppy, let's take a look at the stats here. It says it is plus 19 food, 2.1 health every second for 20 seconds, and plus 8 mining damage. I gotta say, this is probably my least favorite fish in the game. We are gonna put it in the mediocre category. Just because of the mining in the game, you already have high, you know, it's already pretty high. It doesn't affect it that much. Even early on in the game, if you were to catch this fish, you level up mining so fast that plus eight for just a short amount of time, it's just not going to benefit you to waste your time on it. So it is going down here in the mediocre category. Up next, we have the blue cave guppy. Now this fish is one of my favorite now, it's very situational. I don't think everyone's going to use it. It is plus 21 food, plus 2.2 health every 20 seconds, and then plus 5% dodge chance for 5 minutes. And that is what I love about it is that dodge chance for 5 minutes. If you've been watching most of my videos, I always run a dodge build. And since we just got hit with the nerf, the... Um, it's really hard to get up to that plus 90% dodge. So this is something I actually use all the time. I don't think it's going to be for everyone. So I'm going to put it in the decent category. But it is one of my favorite fish just for having that extra dodge chance. All right. The third fish in the dirt biome is the rock jaw. And uh, this fish is also really good. There's quite a few, like most of these fish in the dirt biome are actually really good. This one gives you plus 22% food plus 2.5 health every 20 seconds, and then plus 15.9% melee damage for five minutes. Now, early game, that extra 15% of my uh, melee damage is gonna help you out so much, especially against Gorm the Devourer, um, even the Slime Boss. So if you can catch this, that's awesome, but it is only a 15% chance to catch it. I'm gonna put it up here in, yeah, the outstanding, because anything that buffs your melee, I think is just really great in this game. So we're actually going to put that up here in the outstanding. And then the next we have the gem crab. Now the gem crab will give you 21 food, 3.1 health every second for 20 seconds. And then a 14 armor for 5 minutes. Again, a 5 minute buff. That's really good for a boss fight. I don't think armor is the best because ultimately you don't want to get hit. And a lot of the mobs and like the enemies in this game, you can kind of dodge their attack. So I don't think it's really worth going out of your way for, but it is, it's okay. Um, I'm going to put it in the, I, I guess I'll put it in the meh category just because as rare as it is, it's only like a less than 8% chance to catch it. I don't think it's worth going out of your way to actually get it. 
All right, up next, we are going to the clay caves and the larva biome. Now, the clay caves has like all the tin and stuff, and the larva is always inside of the clay caves, so they're kind of together. We have the yellow blister head, which is a 52.88% chance. The green blister head, which is 24.04% chance to catch it. The devil worm, which is 15.38, and then the vampire eel, which is 769 now, starting up with the yellow blister head, we have plus 21 food, plus 2.61 health for 20 seconds, and then immune to being slow by slime for 30 seconds. Now, to some, I think this would be a really good perk because uh, just stepping in the slime is really annoying, but it's only annoying whenever you're doing a boss fight, so it really is situational. And uh, I've never used this, and I don't ever plan to use this, so I'm going to put it in the meh category. Just because you can get rings and stuff to be able to walk into the slime. And I just, I don't think it's really that important. The green blister head is pretty similar. It's immune to acid damage for 30 seconds. So it's relatively the same. I know I'm never going to have to use this. I mean, it's for the hive mother. It might be kind of okay to use. But currently you can cheese the hive mother. And she's pretty easy to dodge a lot of the stuff. So I don't think it's really worth going out of your way for to, um, to get it. Now, we do have the Devil Worm in this biome, and this one is actually really good. It gives you plus 22.8% range damage for 5 minutes. So if you're running a range build, this is the one you're going to want to have. And I don't think there's any other food in the game that will give you extra range damage. So I'm actually going to put this up here in the Outstanding with the Rock Jaw that gives you the extra melee. Because I think for certain builds and for most people, they're really going to love this. And it's just kind of, it's one of a kind. So we're going to put that up there in the outstanding category for sure. And then lastly in the cave biome, we have the Vampire Eel. It gives you 3.5 health every 20 seconds plus 3 life on melee hit for 5 minutes. That is good because you can pair this up with some of the rings that you get from the bosses that give you plus 3. I think it's from the Hive Mother. So if you are wearing both those rings, that gives you plus six health. And then if you eat one of these food, it's even more. So um, I actually really like this fish. I, I'm i going to put it in the outstanding category just because it's such a unique perk. And uh, I really do enjoy it. And it's something I have used before. It just really leeches life. to, And that's kind of why it's called the Vampire Eel. It just kind of keeps you alive. And that can be really hard in some of the bosses. Up next, we are moving on to the Forgotten Ruins. We got the Dagger Fin Fish, which is a 55% chance to catch. The Pink Palace Fish, which is 20%. The Teal Palace Fish, which is 20%. And the Crown Squid, which is 5%. So starting with the Dagger Fin, it gives you plus 3.9 health every 20 seconds and 13 dorn, uh, thorn damage. Now, this is something I think a lot of people are sleeping on. The thorn damage is actually really good. There's also some accessories and necklaces and stuff that are going to give you thorn damage. And if you have some of these skills in the skill tree that multiply the thorn damage, you can do a lot of damage. I know I've had mobs like the lower end slimes and stuff. They'll attack you and they'll just completely die. You can one shot them. So I do think this is a pretty good fish and it does have a unique perk. I'm going to put it in the decent category because I don't think everyone's going to use it. But the thorn damage pretty much just allows you whenever you get hit, it, you deal damage back to the enemy. So that's one of those things you never want to get hit. But if you do, at least you're still applying damage. So I almost want to put it in the outstanding category, but I think I'm going to leave it in the decent just because I don't think everybody's actually going to be using it. Up next, we got the pink palace fish. Now, this is one of the prettier looking fish, but it gives you a plus 4% melee attack speed for 5 minutes. Now, this is something I kind of go back and forth on. It is nice to have that extra attack speed, but um, I don't think you would really use it too often. It is pretty nice to uh, pair it up with one of the other fishes that, like maybe the rock jaw that allow you to do extra damage and stuff and let you attack a little bit faster, but 4% isn't going to be that much. I'm actually going to put that in the meh category. Uh, that might upset a few people, but for me, I just, I don't really find it very usable. And then the teal palace fish is kind of the same. It's plus 4% range attack speed. Um, I'm actually going to put this also in the meh category. Uh, some people might use it. I don't find it useful at all. I almost want to put it in the mediocre category, but I don't think it's as useless as the, um, 
the mining one. So uh, that almost rounds up that. We just have the crown squid now. This is the last one in the Forgotten Ruins. This gives you plus five health every 20 seconds and a 10% chance to knock back for uh, five minutes. That is a pretty good perk, um, knocking him back. That way you're not actually taking damage. It is super rare to come across one of these because it's such a small drop chance. I almost want to put on the outstanding, but I think I'm just going to drop it in the decent. Now, like I said, some of you might not agree with this ranking. This is just my ranking, how I would use them. And if I think it's really useful, uh, I think it can go both ways for the crown squid. It's not super great, but it is nice to be able to knock the mobs back and keep you from taking some damage. And it's nice on some of the bosses. Now, up next is the Azios Wilderness Biome. This has some of the best fish in the game. I absolutely love it. It's got the Azura Featherfish, which is a 52.88% chance to drop. The Emerald Featherfish, which is 24.04. The Spirit Veil, which is 15.38. And then the Astral Jelly, which is a 7.69. This biome has the prettier fish. That's not a surprise because the whole biome is just like really beautiful. And uh, starting out with the Azure Featherfish, we got plus 21 food and then plus 8.1 health every second. That is, uh, that's actually a lot of health. Like, that's really good. I'm honestly probably going to put this in the outstanding category because getting back plus 8.1 health every second for 20 seconds, like, that is so much health. That's uh, one of the better healing fish in the game for sure. And then moving on to the Emerald Featherfish, which has a much smaller drop chance of actually getting. It will give you plus 3 health every second for 20 seconds, plus 29 max health for 5 minutes, and then plus 7% critical hit chance for 5 minutes. This is super good. Um, I almost want to put this in the Suro Certified. Like, that is really good. There's so many different buffs, but I think I'm going to put it in the Outstanding because the Suro Certified means it's just, like, absolutely perfect. It's a must-have. So this is definitely, like, borderline between those. They just ha It has so much different buffs and stuff, and they're all useful, especially that critical hit chance is going to help you out so much on the boss fights. Now we have the Spirit Veil. This is going to give you a plus 19% 19, 19 food, or plus 19 food, sorry, and 36.2% movement speed. See what I mean? This is like there's so many good fish in this. I'm also going to put this in the outstanding category. That extra movement speed will help you out literally in an insane amount in boss fights like Ivy, the Poisonous Mass. Being able to just navigate and dodge the attacks and then go in there and hit her a few times and then back off is a really good so definitely outstanding fish and then the last one in the Azios wilderness biome is the astral jelly here we have plus 5.2 health every second for 20 seconds so that's really high and then plus 63 fishing for five minutes this is a must have if you can actually get it to drop for you the problem is you probably have to fish a lot before you can actually get it so that makes me want to lower it but the actual perks are so good that if you can get this like that's such a great fish um since it is such a low drop rate i wish that it would last longer than five minutes because it you're only going to be able to catch a couple fish during that time but uh, the perk on it is just really really good now we are moving on to the last biome, which is the mold biome. Here we have three fish. We got the mold shark, the rot fish, and the black sea urchin. Now the mold fish has a 70% chance. You're going to catch this a lot in the mold biome. This, of course, is in the biome where you're going to have to uh, go inside the mold like dungeons and fish in the moldy water. And uh, it can be really challenging if you don't have the mold necklaces that allow you to go in there and take, you know, that way you're not slowed down or anything like that. But if you can find a little fishing hole, definitely start farming this because the mold shark is going to give you 4.8 health every 20 seconds and 38.6 melee damage for 5 minutes. That right there is enough reason for me to put this at the Suro certified. That is such a massive uh addition to your melee damage and it's for five minutes so that's going to last for your entire boss fight if you have one of these and you cook it up with like the gold pafungi like that is the best um food that you can eat if you're going in there to take on a boss fight so definitely farm up as many of those as you can because um it's going to be hard to lose a boss fight if you're eating one of those now the second one is the rot fish this one gives you plus 21 percent food and it's immune to mold infection for 30 seconds. 
Some of you might hate me for this, but I'm putting it down here in the meh, just because by the most, for the most part, you probably already have the mold set, the mold necklace, and the mold ring. And um, having this for only 30 seconds and you have to catch one of these fish that has a low drop rate, it's just not worth it to me. Um, I definitely don't say go out of your way, maybe just to get it to display in your house or your base. But other than that, it's just not, it's not worth it to me. And then we have the black steel um, urchin. This is only a 5% drop chance. Now it gives you plus 3.6 health every 20 seconds, plus 22 armor for five minutes. So that's going to be really good for a boss fight. And then plus 15 thorn damage for five minutes. Um, I really, really like this. It is such a small drop chance. Uh, it has so many different buffs. I'm going to put up here in the outstanding category as well, just because I really enjoy the thorn damage and the extra armor and you get some health on it. It's just uh, really nice. So this is my list here. This is the fish that I say you absolutely need to have on you. And uh, they are just useful for boss fights, just for navigating the world. We got these three, which are pretty decent, depending on your builds. You get the meh, you can do without all of these. You really don't need to go out of your way to do them. And then you just have mediocre, which is garbage. It serves no purpose other than just being a starter fish. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Please hit that like button, subscribe. And if you want to see more of these tier list of videos for like the accessories and stuff like that, I will definitely do that. I do have one planned for the accessories that's going to be uploaded either tomorrow or the next day. And then we will get into some of the armor sets and the builds. Thank you again. I will catch you guys in the next video.